Good morning. Uh, it is very, very early and I made a very early start this morning to make my way to Burnham on Sea. Uh, the, the reason for an early start is that it is two hours away. Uh, so it was half two get up and then leave at three o'clock and I am just about here for sunrise which is gonna be brilliant the reason for sunrise not sunset because I think sunset is a little bit better is that the tide is out at the moment which means I'm not gonna get caught up in any water so uh, yeah let's head over to uh, head over to the lighthouse Okay, so I have parked up and made the arduous walk from just over there uh, to Burnham Lighthouse. Uh, this is a, a place that I've been to a few times and had very little luck getting any decent shots from. Uh, first attempt was over at the uh, shipwreck, the other side of the the other side of those dunes. And I've then tried to get a picture of this and it was just gales, so sandblasting you in the face. Uh, so I've not had much luck at all with this. Uh, so what, I'm, what I've done today is I've managed to get here when it's low tide and a sunrise. And the idea is to take some shots on the film camera again. So this is part two of my film series. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little wander around, see if I can find some compositions and then I will talk you through them. That's been a bit of a mad dash. Uh, basically, I was all set to start talking about some shots, and then all of a sudden the sky just lit up. Uh, and what I thought I'd better do instead of talking to the camera is to try and take some shots, because uh, the likelihood of me being here is going to, oh, again, anytime soon, is going to be slim. Uh, so, what I've done, and I will try and show you this as best I can but uh, what I've done is the the Sun is rising behind the lighthouse there's a ton of clouds behind it and what I've done is I've found a pool in front of the lighthouse and then I've managed to get a shot of the lighthouse all the clouds and then its reflection in the water as well uh, I'm hoping fingers crossed that I've done what I've needed to do right on the camera uh, because if that doesn't come out right I'm going to be really disappointed because it was an absolutely amazing sky and it's gone like that. Uh, so at the moment it's it's all it's gone blue. Um, it's now 20 to 6 so sunrise is done. I've taken four shots all roughly about the same place all about the same type of shot and what I've done is I've had the, I've tried, although this is a, a square crop, I've tried to keep the lighthouse on a sort of a third of the image and then tried to get all of the sky and the reflection and everything in the rest of the image. Uh, and I think they've come out really, really well. I'm just hoping I'm able to develop it and get it all sorted on the camera itself as a backup. 
and I need to go back to it, but uh, I've got my digital camera and I've taken some shots on there as well, just because uh, I'm not likely to see it like this again anytime soon. Um, so what I'm going to try and do is maybe find a slightly different shot. Um, I wasn't intended to come this side and do as many shots as this, but um, what I can do is the other side, that's where the sun's going to be hitting the lighthouse. So what I'm hoping is that if I go that side, I can maybe get a bit of contrast between the light side of the lighthouse and the darker side. Um, maybe even try and get something on the sand that's of a foreground interest type thing. But I'll have a wander around and if I'm able to get anything, I will try and talk you through that one. That hasn't quite gone to plan. Ooh, sun, sun's up. I was about to disappear and try and look for a different shot. The only problem is that, as you can see, that sun is right there now. But what was happening is that uh, on the camera, I was about to close the, close the viewfinder and realized there was a little speck of light coming through the, uh, the gap in between the legs of the lighthouse. And uh, whenever I see that, the first thing I think is starburst or sunburst. So immediately I ran over, grabbed the camera, tried to work out what the settings were for like F22 to see if I could get a sunburst on, on this camera. Yeah, basically just, uh, just running around trying to do that. So I've taken two more shots, one at F22, uh, 30 seconds, no, not 30 seconds. 30th of a second and 60th of a second. I don't think I got it right the first time, so I think it needed to be a little bit quicker in the exposure. But that's like six shots now I've done on this. I might have to leave it at that. Uh, otherwise, there's not gonna be much of another video. In fact, what are we on? Nine. So, so I've got three shots left. And quite honestly, I'm I'm happy. With, I'm in fact I'm over the moon with these shots. I think these are going to be brilliant if they come out right. Uh, and I don't know that the other side's going to be much better. So I don't know. This is probably going to be a relatively short video. Um, and uh, in fact, no. On the way back to the car, I can do a bit of talking about the camera itself because I cocked up on what I said it was. It was a Yashica. Yashica one of those so it's a Yashica Matt 124G yeah uh, brilliant little camera little medium format camera um, but I'll talk about that in a sec right time to pack up change the battery on this camera because it's running out and I'll head back to the car <laughs> That's all done. <laughs> I, I don't know how good this video is going to be. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Maybe a bit short. Just a couple of things on the, the camera itself. So I didn't really go into detail in the last video about what it was. I even got the name wrong. Uh, not the name wrong, the model wrong. So it's a, a Yashica Mat 124, not 24. And it's a, it's basically a 6x6 medium format film camera. Uh, it's a twin reflex, so basically you use two lenses, one to view, one to take the picture. It's a really nice little camera. It's, it's an old camera. It's got to be like 50 or more, maybe even 70 years old, I'm not sure. Uh, I think it was 1970 or something that they stopped doing them, or thereabouts. So that just tells you how old that, that is. But it's, it's really nice and it still works. Still works, which is really cool. The film I've got in there is a Provia 100 for no other reason than when I looked at what the pictures looked like when they come out of from the film, it looks nice. So 
I don't actually know if sunrises, sunsets are actually any good for that type of film. I think, I think Provia 100 is good for uh, like harsh lighting. Don't quote me on that. I've, I've done a bit of reading and yeah, it's, it's hard to sort of work out what's what. But it's, uh, what I did notice, it gives quite a nice sort of uh, like a magenta feel to it, which I'm hoping in this instance for the sunrise is going to be quite a nice, quite a nice tone to it. Other than that, the camera, yeah, it just works. It's a, it's a massive learning curve because everything's manual. It's, it's a case of trying to work out what to do without, it, and, and it almost feels like using the DSLR or the mirrorless camera is cheating. Um, I, I sort of feel that I should be trying to work it out on my own, but without a light meter, I don't think it's particularly difficult. So I'm just using the uh, the inbuilt light meter on the camera. Uh, but hopefully those shots come out quite nice. Only time will tell. Uh, in the last video, I mentioned that uh, the there would be spoilers at the end. I will do the same this time. I haven't yet posted that video, so I don't know what the comments are like, so hopefully they were okay. But I'll, what I'll do is, a bit towards the end, or after the, the video is finished, I will put a little spoiler warning up, and then I'll put the images from the DSLR, just so that you have an idea of what these are like. If you've come to this one and not the previous video, go watch that, but long story short is, because I haven't done this before and I'm not going to get to see these images until I process them or develop them uh, what I wanted to do was bring you along on the journey of me learning how to use this camera and then going through and developing everything so if you don't want spoilers just don't bother watching the end right time for the car I'm going to make a uh, I would have made some coffee I've got that in a flask, so uh, time for a drink, and then home. All right, catch you on the next video. Uh, hopefully, well, it will be part three, and that will be the last of the going out and taking pictures. Part four is going to be the developing, and seeing if any of them come out all right. So, yeah, catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.